Okay, welcome to Movement Online Training. Well, today's going to be a bit different, so we're going to be doing a tutorial uh, on how to tie your belt. We're going to do three variations. So we're going to start off with the easiest one first. That's the one that I do. I think Billy also does it. Just the way I was taught. Now, a couple of things that I learned. So first of all, the loops on your gi, uh, gi pants go on the front. The, you'll be surprised at how many new students start and they have the loops on the back. So loops in the front, tie the knot at the front too. Double tie, all right? So we always put left lapel over the right. So I remember Karen told me um, why that was. I couldn't remember, so I looked it up. So the left goes over the right for a traditional uh, Japanese sense is because if you go right over left, it's for someone that's passed away. And then left over right is for the living. So that's the tradition behind that. Now, I'm going to do the first way that I teach everyone. It's the easiest. I also think it's the fastest. So we've got to get the belt nice and even this way. You can see the whole belt. Yep. And we put the red tab or for non-black belts, you put the black tab, it goes on the right side. So we put it just below your belly button and we wrap it around here, making sure that it's all together nice and tight. You don't want to have it loose. So I've got the one in my right hand and the one in my left hand. I give the left the left side one to my right hand going over the top. Now the one in my right goes under both. So we end up here like this. Now we want them to be nice and even-ish. Now my one on top goes over, around, and through, and we pull nice and tight. And that's the traditional style knot. I'm not sure if it's the traditional, sorry, that's the common way that I've always done it. Now, my coach Anthony always told me to have the bar on the left side. And I never knew why, but this is another thing that I looked up. It's because uh, in the old school days, the samurai had their sheath on their left side so they could draw with their right hand for fighting. So that's why. Okay, the next variation we're going to do is going to be, I just call it the one knot or this is the style that you're going to do after coming back from COVID-19 diet when you're a bit bigger. Um, they say this one, this knot stays a bit tighter. So it's very similar to the last one. We wrap it around, make sure the black tab or red tab starts on your right. Wrap it around, make it nice and even, even. Make sure that there's no loose bits hanging over. Even here. Now, give it to your right hand and switch it over. Now from here, I don't go under both. I just go under one. So this gives you a bit more space. Pull it tight, pull it through, lock it off, boom. So that's the same, it gives you more space here, and plus, apparently, it's a stronger knot. Okay? Try to make sure that the knot looks good too. Don't make it look all funny. Try to roll it forward, and then we're there. So that's your single knot tie. Now, I'm going to do one more. So this is the traditional um, way to tie your belt. I've never done it like this. I've done it a couple of times like this, but I've never done it. Um, it's very in fashion now with the cool kids. People like our, our competitors like Will and Max. I think Wade does this as well. They call it the super knot. I've always just thought that people do this because they're trying to rest longer in between rounds. <laughs> That's what I always thought. So we grab the non-bar side and I put it to my hip, trying to keep it all tight. So I put it to my hip here, and then I wrap it around on top of the one that's already down. I wrap it around here, coming to here. Okay, then from here, I just want to adjust it a little bit forward so my belt's in front, and I go under both. Okay, then this old mate down here, I just pull him out. Now, try to make sure that they're even in length, then from here, I want to put this belt, you might want to come closer for this one, Billy. I put this one through here in between. Okay, over here. And I want it to hang out over this side. Now, my spare one comes through 
this little gap that I've given here, a little gap here, I put it through here, and I put it through my front belt. Here like this. Then I pull it through nice and tight, and that's called the super knot.